Good day, everyone. Welcome again to our next topic for today. We will have the last topic or the last type of permutation, which is the distinguishable permutation. Our objectives for this video lesson is to illustrate the permutation of distinguishable objects and to solve problems involving these kind of permutation. So before that, let us again recall the difference between the linear and the circular permutation. So under the linear permutation, it pertains to the arrangement of different objects that forms a line, kaya nga tinawag na linear permutation. And in circular permutation, arrangement of different objects in a circular form. So I would like to emphasize here that they're different. Okay, so pagka linear and circular ang pinag-uusapan, magkakaibang bagay. Ang linear, nagpo-form ng straight line. Ang circular, paikot, pabilog, in circular form. Now, the formula under the linear permutation is the n factorial all over the quantity n minus r factorial, wherein the value of n should always be greater than or equal to r. And the circular permutation, the formula is the quantity of n minus 1 factorial. And let's have illustrative examples in our lives. The list of honors is a linear permutation. The keys in a ring, yung mga susi na nandoon sa uh, nasa ring, ang ring ay pabilog. So, ibig sabihin, circular permutation. Clothes in the cabinet, obviously, that is in linear form. The game about or entitled as Trip to Jerusalem, the arrangement of chairs on that game is in circular form. So that is under the circular permutation. And the pictures in a clock, some of the wall clocks in a house, minsan hindi lang basta 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, up to 12. It represents pictures or it could represent shoes or anything na importante doon sa mga with that within that person or within that family okay so i hope uh, this is clear with everyone so that we could move on to the next kind of permutation now for the next kind of permutation i want you to observe the arrangement of goods in a certain grocery store or even in a community pantry that we are having right now as you can notice so lahat ng noodles magkakasama Lahat ng canned goods magkakasama as well as the liquids or yung mga seasonings magkakasama din yan. So, similar goods are properly arranged. So, yung kanina, yung linear at saka circular, we are arranging different kinds of objects. Ngayon, similar goods kasi hindi naman sa lahat ng panahon ang arrangement ay para lang sa magkakaibang bagay. We could also arrange objects that are similar. So that is what we call distinguishable permutation, which refers to the number of ordered arrangements of identical objects. Pag sinabing identical, parang identical twins, di ba? Pag uh, nakita mo sila, hindi mo alaman, hindi mo distinguish kung ano yung pinagkaiba ng bawat isa. So in other way around, identical, same or similar. So pagka distinguishable, Basta nakita niyo yung mga keywords na yan, we are pertaining to distinguishable permutation. Okay? Now, the formula for that kind of permutation is this one, n factorial all over, and n sub 1 factorial, n sub 2 factorial, n sub 3 factorial, until n sub k factorial. Ano yung value ng n? Katulad ng binabanggit natin before, that is always the total number of objects. At yung mga n sub 1, n sub 2 na yan, yan naman yung pinag-uusapan nating similar objects. Kasi nga, pwede mong pagpalit-palitin ng pwesto. Kaya, pinafactorial natin yung mga similar objects na yun. Okay? So, let us try. Suppose you are the owner of a sari-sari store and you want to put 12 pieces of canned goods in a row on a shelf. If there are three identical cans of meatloaf, four identical cans of tomato sauce, two identical cans of sardines, and three identical cans of corned beef, in how many different ways can you display these goods? Or even, pagkabukas ninyo ng cabinet sa kitchen, 
'di ba? May mga dilata tayo doon. Nakaayos siya, 'di ba? According to its category. Yung mga magkakaparehas ng tatak, yung mga magkakaparehas ng klase ay magkakasama. So with that case, what makes it a distinguishable permutation? Obviously, the keyword there is identical based on the definition. And how many pieces of canned goods are there in total? Ilan lahat ang canned goods na i-arrange daw natin sa shelf? There are 12 canned goods, which means that is now the value of our N. Take note of that. Now, identify the identical objects and its quantity. Ano-ano yung klase ng canned goods at ilan ang bawat isa? So, una, meatloaf, tatlo. Tomato sauce, there are four identical cans. For sardines, we have two identical cans. And for the corned beef, we have three identical cans. And if you're going to notice, if we will add this, it comes up with the value of N, which is 12. Now, these identical objects, yan yung ating N sub 1, N sub 2, N sub 3, and N sub 4. Applying that in the formula, we will have 12 factorial all over the 3 factorial times 4 factorial times 2 factorial and then times 3 factorial. So, medyo masela yung ibang calculators. You could simply put a multiplication sign in between. So, substituting the values, then we're going to calculate it. You will have 479,001,600. That is the value of 12 factorial. And the denominator, its product is 1,728. And if we're going to divide it, the answer is 277,200 ways. Imagine that sa dosing canned goods pa lang na yun, napakadami ng paraan para iyan ay maayos. Okay po. Now, if we're going to use a calculator, just input like this one. So, pakihanap yung fraction, the symbol sa calculator. Then, paki-input yung 12 factorial on the numerator. And then, yung sa denominator, like what I've said a while ago, you should input multiplication sign para hindi mag-error. Because some of the calculators uh, are quite sensitive on the symbols to be used. Okay? So, I hope that's clear. Now, let's us proceed to the next example. This is one of the good uh, example in the school. So, kung papaso kayo sa library, that is an example of distinguishable permutation because the books are arranged properly according to its subject, according to its category, at magkakasama yung mga magkakaparehas. So, having this example, in one of the math corners, Math is one of the category in the selection of library. What is the number of possible arrangements of 10 books on a shelf where 5 are of the same math 7 books, 3 are of the same algebra books, and 2 are of the same calculus books? Now, don't uh, be confused about this math 7 books. It pertains now, this math 7, it pertains to a math book under the grade, uh, under the seventh grade level. Okay? So, I want to clear on that part. What makes it as distinguishable permutation? What's the keyword there? Okay, the keyword is same. Now, how many books are there in total? Thank you. There are 10 books in total. Again, that gives us the value of n, which is 10. Again, ano ulit ang gagawin natin? We need to identify the similar objects and its quantity. We have here the math 7 books, a total of 5. Algebra is 3 and calculus books are 2. So, in total... N is equal to 10. Again, yung bawat category, that is our N sub 1, N sub 2, and N sub 3. Applying that in the formula, N will become 10 factorial, and then mga nasa denominator, yung iba't ibang klase ng libro. 5 factorial times 3 factorial, and the 2 factorial. Then, what if wala tayong calculator? We could also simplify it. I-expand nyo lang yung 10 factorial. Until doon sa may makita tayong pwedeng makancel on the denominator. 
dito hanggang 5 factorial. Okay? And the 3 factorial here, ang value niyan ay 6. So, pwede mo silang i-cancel. And then, yung 2 factorial dito, ang value niyan ay 2. Na pwede mong i-cancel sa kahit na anong number na divisible by 2. So, I've chosen 8. So, 8 divided by 2, that is 4. Para mapadali na ang inyong pagsisimplify. Uh, imumultiply nyo na lang yung natira, which is the 10 times 9 times 4 times 7. The answer there is 2,520. So, that is the total number of ways. You could also input that in the calculator. We will have the same answer. Okay? Next one, example number three. Determine the number of distinguishable permutations of the word health. Now, this case, kahit yung pangalan natin, kahit yung contact number natin, pwede natin gamitan ng distinguishable permutation. Bakit? Kasi there are some letters being repeated. Okay? Now, having this, on the word H-E-A-L-T-H, on these letters, N now pertains to the total number of letters. How many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we will have 6. And then identify kung ilang beses na ulit yung bawat letters. So ilan ang H? Is, isa o dalawa? <laughs> we have 2. Umulit siya. And then E. We have 1. A is also 1. Next one is L. That's also 1. And then T is 1. Checking it, 2 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, the total of 6. So applying that in the formula, we will have now 6 factorial divided by yung mga bawat letters kung ilan umulit. So, magiging 2 factorial, 1 factorial, 1 factorial, 1 factorial. Okay? And then, we need to input that in the calculator. You may try it as well. The answer there is 360 ways. So, you could also try it on your names or even on your contact numbers. So, let me end with this kind of a differentiation between the three or among these three kinds of permutation para mas madali nating matandaan. Ulit, pagkalinear, arrangement of different objects in a line, circular, uh, pabilog, at ang formula ng linear i n factorial all over the quantity n minus r factorial wherein n should be greater than or equal to r, circular ay pabilog, Ang formula ay quantity of n minus 1 factorial at ang distinguishable, magkakaibang objects ang ating pinag-uusapan o magkakaparehas. Okay, so sa distinguishable, magkakaparehas na objects ang ating pinag-uusapan. At ito po ang formula. So having that case, I hope everything is clear with you. And thank you so much. To God be all the glory.